Hello, Shipyard. The next several issues of Service to the Fleet will highlight our five strategic focus areas. Our Accelerate the Change rally call for 2016 is one step on the way to reaching our vision to lead the NASC Corporation in safety, performance, and innovation. We have already accomplished so much that I am considering upping the game. Should we drive even higher to reach status as the premier production organization in the world? You know, George S. Patton had a unique and an effective leadership style. He said, never tell people how to do things. Tell them what to do, and they'll surprise you with their ingenuity. This concept is at the heart of our Accelerate the Change rally call. I need all hands engaged, and we need your ingenuity to improve the how of what we do. Our first strategic focus area is leadership. Our focus in this area has been on the Production Resources Department, Code 900. Last year, we began a formal organizational restructure to create three major divisions within the department. Production Department Manager, Code 901, leading the group superintendents. Workforce Development Manager, Code 900B, leading our focus in workforce development and training. And our Facilities Manager, Code 900F, leading our efforts to improve our facility and infrastructure conditions. We will finish the formal restructuring this year providing Code 900 the proper bandwidth to establish and maintain our world-class status as a premier shipyard in the world. <clears throat> Last year, we also focused our leadership attention on daily production planning to ensure we start all jobs prepared and aligned with all the necessary codes. As a result, we have seen dramatic improvement in our work coordination and first-time quality. Finally, in FY15, we established stretch goals to significantly improve the safety posture for services in our dry docks, setting the bar high to maintain all dry dock services above the dry dock floor. In 2016, our primary focus in the leadership strategic area combines and aligns the efforts of Code 900, Code 300, Operations Department, and Code 300N, Nuclear Production Department, to focus our attention on personnel management and project management. By understanding and holding ourselves accountable to the corporate practices and metrics for project management, we will reach the next level of execution excellence. We've already seen the results of strict adherence to project management fundamentals. USS Maryland achieved one of our 2016 big rocks last month by completing its engineered refueling overhaul, setting corporate records in work completion and testing aboard an SSBN. In the words of NASC Commander Vice Admiral William Pilardes, Norfolk Naval Shipyard's endgame test program absolutely obliterated the previous best. The Maryland Project's leadership team was strong and focused on planning, communication, and coordination. The team held itself to high standards during an extensive and challenging ERO. As a result, we returned this vital asset to the fleet so it can support the most pressing priority of the Department of Defense as an active nuclear deterrent. I signed out my standing order number two last month, detailing our operational plan to dramatically reduce injuries in Norfolk Naval Shipyard. This plan requires my notification within 24 hours of any injury and a follow-up notification within 48 hours by the applicable line manager regarding the causes of the injury and plan to prevent recurrence. This swarming process engages the supervisor, department safety representative, and safety division within Code 106 in all injury investigations. We are already seeing injury rate reductions, but we have a long way to go to reach our goal. Nobody gets hurt today. Any injury is one too many. I need all hands engaged to look out for each other. Hold high cleanliness and safety standards, and think ahead regarding your work and travel throughout Norfolk Naval Shipyard. <clears throat> regarding base traffic safety, we installed a solar panel yield and stop sign on Berrien Street near Gate 10. We will be installing 20 more solar-powered signs in key locations throughout the base during the next few weeks. We are also increasing the number of crosswalks, repainting faded crosswalks, and adding lighting in areas of particular need. Lead the way in keeping yourself and your fellow shipyarders safe while driving around the base and always cross a designated crosswalks. Leadership means providing a vision for success and facilitating the attainment of goals on the way to that success. We are well on our way. We will only be successful by engaging and pushing the limits. We are Norfolk Naval Shipyard. We are America's Shipyard.